Hey all, John Bellamy here. And in this video today, I wanted to uh, run through a marketing and sales automation that we've created uh, inside of the Keep CRM, the number one CRM for you entrepreneurs out there. Um, and I wanted to share it with you for a couple of, couple of reasons. Um, number one, I'm speaking to a lot of people whereby they are looking for ways that they can actually send emails, but more importantly, track the segmentation of those emails. So when somebody responds, when somebody takes some form of action, they're looking for they're looking for those things. And they're looking for really simple emails where they could just start to do an outreach process. So this campaign that we're going to share with you today um, is one that we've just created for a client. And essentially what we're doing is sending three emails over the space of about four weeks. And we're also on the back end, we're also sending some LinkedIn connection requests and doing some follow-up as well. Um, but yeah, let's just dive in and show you what it looks like. So from this view here, our published top level view, if we start from the left of screen, this whole campaign is going to be dr uh, driven by um, the client actually filling out an internal form. Okay, So they'll be able to manually go and add individuals or bulk add individuals into the campaign. So you'll see here, we've just got like a number one and a couple of those just because we've been testing it. Um, but essentially what you would do, the client would go and identify, you know, John Citizen as the contact that they want to trigger the campaign for. They would apply the start button by the internal form, which would push them over here into this campaign. Now in this campaign, we'll dive into that in a moment, but there's the three emails there and there's some tagging and all of that going on. Um, but there's a few things that we're looking for from a measurement perspective, okay? So a couple of things um, that we always get asked is, well, John, what happens when a contact responds to an email? So they might reply to an email and maybe it's a positive response or, or it could be a negative response as well. So leveraging this internal form against the contact record, what we're able to do is we're able to stop the campaign um, if we've put the wrong contact in or subsequently if we wanted to record and stop the campaign from a positive response um, or record a negative response and stop the campaign as well. So why would you stop the campaign and at what points? Well, like I mentioned, there's three emails and we'll jump into the cadence of those in a minute. But if we've sent an email today, okay, and then we're waiting, for example, a week or two weeks to send the next email, and then maybe another week or two weeks after that to send the last email, what happens in between those times? Um, and what we're looking for there is exactly that. If the if a conversation happens, a client or a potential client that we're emailing responds automatically back to you, we, we as Keep users, we as marketers want to be able to have that opportunity to stop any future emails going out. And by using these internal forms and the triggers behind that, that's exactly what we do. Um, the next thing that we wanted to do within the email, and once again, I'll show you those in a moment, within the emails that we're sending out, we wanted to actually identify and segment the number of contacts who take an action within an email. So whether they respond, that's one action that we're looking at. But what we're also looking at is whether they have clicked a link, for example. So in example, email one, um, in, in this case here, um, we're linking them back to a contact's LinkedIn profile. So when they click that link, we're associating a tag and then we're identifying those individuals. Um, if we send them to an on-demand demo in email two, they click that link. We're going to see those people who have clicked that there so we can segment and follow up. And then subsequently as well, um, if they have gone and uh, read this article essentially or this report um, in email three, we want to we want to tag them and segment those individuals out from that regard. So this is all the different moving parts. But if we get into the, the nitty gritty of it, if we jump into here um, where the emails are actually triggered, you can see it's a pretty standard campaign as far as what we're doing here, but it's got a lot of intelligence behind it. And this is what our clients love. They want to be able to have that micro segmentation in place. So from the status and history up here, we're just looking at where somebody is currently at in a campaign and where they have been. In the systems and integration side of things here, we're looking um, at actions that we're taking. So um, we're assigning a contact owner, we're putting a note against their contact record, we're waiting a period of time before we remove everybody out of that campaign because we only want people to be in this camp for a maximum of six weeks. Um, and then from the emails, like I said before, we've got three different emails here. So the first one, we're waiting like three minutes and we're sending it on a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and then they get email one on email 
uh, two. We're waiting three days from that. And then we're sending that on a Wednesday or Thursday. So like the week following uh, from that perspective. And then the third email, um, we're actually in this campaign because it's around Christmas time as we're recording this. We're actually waiting four weeks before the third email goes out. And what we'll do there is once the four weeks hits on a Wednesday or Thursday, bang, we're going to hit them with that email three. So just remember, they're only going to get all these three emails if and only if they don't actually respond um, to an email, okay? So the minute that they respond and the rep who's managing um, this campaign sees that John Citizen has responded, they will come into their internal form and they'll actually hit positive response or negative response and subsequently that will stop the campaign. So move the contact from here into this stop campaign button and it will actually move them over there as well as giving us that ability to track and create deals. So guys, I just wanted to share that with you uh, for today. The reason I wanted to share that once again is because I know that there's a lot of us out there, whether we're running a fitness business, a small consultancy business, manufacturing, whatever it might be, SaaS products or anything like that, we are in the business of communicating and speaking with our clients and ultimately leverage, leveraging systems like Keep will give us that power to be able to do those micro segmentations. So the beautiful thing by that is that we can identify individual contacts who have taken a specific action so that we can then go and follow up with them in a more meaningful way. Guys, it's John Bellamy here. I trust you found this video of value. Listen, if you're interested in learning more about Keep, um, just drop me a line. There's a button underneath this video here. Just go click on that or drop me a line. Um, if you're seeing this online at Facebook or anything like that, LinkedIn, let me know your question and I'll be more than happy to connect with you and just sort of see how we can help. Have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.